Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. You know, almost anyone can find a photographic archive from birth to present day. And if you're young enough, the archive might exist right on your phone. <laughs> But what do you do about finding a photo archive for an entire city? Galen Culver has the story of an exhibit in Enid, tracing its photographic history even back to the moment of the town's birth. There are very few communities in America that had a photographer on hand to record the moment they were born. But William Prettyman was there on September 16, 1893, when the Cherokee Strip land run took place. Zoom out to a wide shot and the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center is a longtime repository of photographs from a long history of notable picture takers. There is absolutely no chart. Archivist Aaron Peters numbers them in the thousands. Tens of thousands. Really? Probably before the 1890s. Pictures at an exhibition Enid style is a huge room full of history and art. On this afternoon, the figures you see in this picture are actually central actors in its compilation. Frank Baker insists Enid has always produced a unique archive. It's the catalog and it's the walk through where we've been. From before statehood, William Prettyman roamed the treeless plain. Photographers like Dick McConkie chronicled Enid's rise as a center of life and commerce. We've had true artists working in this field. William Edson captured Enid life in black and white. Wes Gray originally bought a camera because his cool cousin had one. He and his girlfriend Jolene started taking pictures close to 50 years ago. They married and opened a studio in 1975 that's seen a parade of city leaders and regular people come to have their portrait made. Oh, it's hard to imagine. I mean, this is just a small sample here through the years. It's turned out to be history, which is kind of funny because you know, 1975 doesn't seem that, that long ago to me. Mike Clemmy left town to travel the globe as a professional photographer, but much of his archive includes pictures of home. I'm always glad to come back home. I'm always anxious to come back home. Yeah. A photograph conjures memories and emotions, but from the moment the shutter snaps, it becomes a piece of history, a kind of document of what happened before. These pictures, this exhibition, and these actors represent a town nice. that grew up with them. In Enid, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? And the exhibition Frozen in Time runs through the end of April. Next Friday, the museum is hosting photographers Gray and Clemmy as part of another evening event chronicling the history of the cocktail in Oklahoma. <laughs>